There was once a doctor who thought he was a dog. When asked how long he'd been feeling like this, he replied, ever since I was a puppy. <laughs> but seriously, would you trust a doctor covered in fur? Ah, this is the life. A perfect day with the perfect bone. <laughs> That! No drums allowed! What? Brian, what are you doing? What? I said, what are you doing? I'm about to perform a snowboard leap. But there isn't any snow. Well, a grassboard leap then. <laughs> That was some oh. jump, man. That was a ridiculous thing to do, Brian. Now keep still while I check you over. Oh. Mm. Just as I suspected. Oh, will I survive? Hmm, I think so. You're suffering from shell shock. Plenty of rest and lettuce for you, young snail. Oh, thank you, Doctor. I mean, Dougal. That Dougal really knows his stuff. Ah, now, where was I? Ah, yes. <laughs> hey, Dougal, baby. Oh, just Dougal. You can drop the baby. The way you helped Brian was just like a proper doctor. Yes, I do have a certain medical know-how. I put it down to my need to help others. Now, if you don't mind, I want to help myself to this bone. <laughs> Whoa! That sounds like Ermintrude. If you say so. She might need your help, Dr. Dougal. Hmm? Oh, you could be right. <laughs> mm. Oh! Oh! Hearts! There, there, you poor cow. Don't panic now. Give the lady room. Oh. Uh, she's all yours. Now, what seems to be the problem? <laughs> It's a rather delicate matter. Ooh. She's stuck. She sat in some nettles. Ooh, ouch! I was trying to get to some rather tasty daisies. Oh, right. Well, I don't think we need to take a look. You have nettle rash, my dear. I suggest you sit in this trough two times a day and use some dock leaves. Oh, thank you, Doctor. <laughs> uh, Dougal. Here you go, Ermintrude. <gasps> um... They're not for eating, Mr. Grimsdale. They're for rubbing onto the, uh, rash. Uh, oh, uh, I'll, uh, be going then. <laughs> oh, well, soon, eh? Mmm. Mmm. Man, it's good to know there's someone you can rely on in an emergency. My hoppity friend. It's a pleasure to be of service. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Dougal. <laughs> Dr. Dougal. Hmm, I like the sound of that. I don't know why I didn't think about it before. This town needs a doctor. But not just any old doc. It needs Dr. Dr. Dougal. What's that? Dr. Dougal's surgery open for patients. All welcome. No job too big or small. What's he up to now? Here we are, Dr. Dougal. Mm -hmm. hmm. Could you show the next patient in, please? Yeah. Thank you, Nurse Dillon. Mm. Now, what seems to be the problem? Squeaky knees. There's no need for that tone. No, uh, I've got squeaky knees. Hmm. I'll be the judge of that. Huh. 
Could you bend? I see. They need oiling. My knees? They need oiling? No, the pedals on your tricycle. <sighs> Next. A Mr. Fly to see you, Dr. Dougal. Complain of tummy ache. Oh, the agony! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you have an overactive appetite. Oh. I prescribe six meals a day instead of ten. <gasps> sport, sport. Next. Is that it? Yes, you're eating too much. Good day. Well, I'm off to see a real doctor. <sighs> Dr Dougal, I have train here to see you complaining about too much steam. <sighs> Yes, drink plenty of water. You're overheating. Hello, Dougal. What are you doing? It's Dr Dougal. And have you made an appointment? Uh, no. Excuse me for saying so, Dougal, but you're a very grumpy doctor. I am not grumpy. I'm disappointed. Mm, tell me all about it, Dougal. Well... I thought being a doctor would be really exciting. But all I've had is overfed flies, thirsty steam engines and squeaky pedals. <laughs> you should be happy all your friends aren't ill. I know. But it would be nice if there was something a little more exciting to cure. <laughs> Maybe Dr Dougal needs something trickier to get his teeth into. <laughs> so... Oh... <laughs> Sorry, Dougal. Uh, cool. I seem to have the hiccups. Uh, hmm. I know how to deal with this. Nurse Dylan? What? Could you come here, please? Of course, Dr Dougal. Could you go behind the screen, please, Florence? Yeah. <laughs> come on. Hello? Can I come out now, D Dougal? Huh? Dougal? Dylan? Boo! Ah! Oh, what are you doing? I think you'll find Dr Dougal has cured your hiccups. Oh. <laughs> I think you have. Oh, dear. What? Are you losing your touch, Doc? No. No way. Hey, Doc. <laughs> I think we got some more patience. Huh? <laughs> Doctor Dougal! Doctor Dougal! I need your help! My knees are fine, but my hiccups need oiling. Uh, try holding your breath. Uh, Ermintrude, drink a glass of water upside down. Nurse Dylan, could you make Brian jump? Yep. Oh. oh, not you too, Nurse Dylan. Oh, it's a hiccup epidemic. I'm sorry, Florence, but this doctor doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Hello. Don't worry, Dougal. I know who's behind this. Seb D, could you come here, please? Me? Yes, you. Have you got something to do with his hiccups? Might have. Well, uh, Dougal did say he wanted something more exciting to cure. Oh, Zebedee. You just stop these hiccups right now, Mush. Oh. All right, then. <gasps> oh, my hiccups. They're gone. Mine, too. And mine. <sighs> Do you know, Florence, I think I'll give up being a doctor. Besides... I'm suffering from a little pain. Really, Dougal? Where? Standing right there. Uh, <laughs> no, no, Dougal. Come oh. here, Zebedee. Stop. Stay. Come back here. <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Zebedee. <laughs> well, I think it's time to... Oh. Hey. Bed. <laughs> Come on and
Just for you, just for you.